Well, we're we're all excited that the Euroleague uh, starts again. Uh, even though under these uh, circumstances, with no no stands, no no people, we all hope in Euro first time. I think in basketball story, we play without supporters, and uh, a lot of us. The main loss for us, uh, our doctor, Raman Abjalil. I remember very, very good this day when uh, I received information that remember that uh, was difficult, difficult day for me personally because he was my friend. He was friend of uh, my mother. For sure, for us, it's a main loss in this pandemic story. The main loss and uh, we try to remember Roma and we try to help his family, uh, wife, uh, kids. In this difficult circumstance, we try to, to build a competitive team every year. And uh, after Vittoria, uh, we start to build new new team. Uh, we uh, had to face the, the fact that the departure of Kyle Heinz is, uh, was uh, our captain and a very important player for our team. Topo is the, the one that we were trying to pursue the, the last, let's say, five years. Uh, with no success, obviously. But I think that uh, 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 considering the circumstances and the market uh, value and uh, how much you have uh, choices to do, uh, the management uh, did a great job on creating a good team, uh, formating again a team that um, targets high and have uh, an expectations and a uh, huge motivation. You're the Oscar that goes to... I don't need an Oscar, man. I always say that I'm from real Georgia because that's true. Ever since I started traveling and playing outside of Georgia, whenever they asked me where I was from, after my answer, there was two following questions, either the Russia Georgia or the United States Georgia. So I had to explain them that now it's a, it's a real Georgia uh, located in uh, Eastern Europe. And uh, this is the original Georgia that I come from. My first basketball memory is uh, I was seven years old. It was my birthday and my parents gave me the basketball. And I remember that I was carrying this basketball everywhere I, w I went. Uh, the place that we were practicing also, okay, the court was not excellent. It was a uh, very old gym. And as it was cold outside, it was the same cold inside. If it was raining outside, it was raining inside. And sometimes we were practicing with the, with the gloves on, sometimes we were practicing with the, with the hoodies and jackets on, but we were practice. Uh, and this is something that, looking back, I think this has made me who I am now and made the players who grew there uh, who they are now. I grew up in Portland, Oregon. Portland's nice. I mean, it rains a lot, but it's a nice place. I enjoy it. I just, uh, yeah, hung out with my friends a lot, played a lot of sports, get home later than you should and get yelled at, stuff like that. So just run around with my friends a lot, uh, thinking I was older than I really was, trying to be grown when I wasn't, you know, doing little kid stuff, you know, nice childhood, play basketball all day, not take a shower, stuff that you shouldn't do. In high school, the games were fun. I mean, we had a, a solid crowd. We had a good uh, like uh, school support to come to the games. I wouldn't say it was uh, like sold out every time, but playing basketball when I was growing up was just uh, fun. When you're in middle school, you just want to be on varsity in high school. And when you're in high school, you want to go to college. So uh, that's basically all we were playing for, but we were just having fun, I think.
تاویدار میگوارد با شویدن میگوارد کالات بودی تختمتیت لیس فی قاوی تختمتی تختمتیت لیس روم داویت قصیار رولی کالات بودی آکیدن گامون دیناره کالات بود تلویز اوجا خیبرت دا تاویست تاود بیندو دارو تکوت تکوت هست کالات بودی اتامش هم دا رون شوی قانه کالات بودی ساد غاز آریتی رامو دنی میت لیس میره ساد غاز اوری سامیت لیس میره اوکه ات خود دارو ماشی خون نیچی آمیس داریم باشیم بیان توی تون زالیان میزند از سخولی او قرار دار زالیان زالیان دیدی شرمی سپاسد زالیان دیدی میزند از سخولو بیس پاسد میختی اما سرعت خسارت است که آه. تر داوی نخیم ره اوکی اما شرمی سمو قراره با میسی شرمی سمو قراره با دام میزند از سخولو با و تاوی دانو میختی رو دید کلا بودی تماشا کرد. پس شو بیدن آرمی قوی چار طولی بیدارم می تونم تماشا کنم دیده پیزیکورت هم کنم نامی از روم اگر می تو کم رو وارد شدی دایش کم ماله و دوانی به کالد بوده بود دامی سپش نلیوی قوی شیلی بود ایت خواست دست خیسی دن آرم مرا شاید که ما اون دتیک بیز گانو خیلی اطول ماتش تو آمی سرشوالی با گوک مگه بول ماتش بسات گانو خیلی اطول تا اگه بول سوپرو گانو خیلی اطول کنم تا وقت اطرو ایت ولی سینه بچه ماس When I first met to Toko, uh, he was special from that day for me because he had different moves, different uh, type of look of basketball. So from 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 the kid, he he was leader of the team all, every every time. And uh, it was hard because uh, there was. Uh, there was not good good time for our country, and most of people, uh, players were coming by walk from home to to the gym and from gym to home. Oh, this time like there was so many basketball camps like to to he can practice really good. There, there maybe no was light, you know. There, there was inside really cold, but like uh, we. We still can create like good basketball player and especially Toko. He was, he was every practice, every game like he was doing his maximum, hundred percent. Ara bavšo vešče se kvakla išeli vam deni sašuale vari ko magram. Ara se bo daru magar srame se ukan daeti avar duši an davi gale an ora da sai ko aj zanjen midem da sakuli ko da una vitama šuga da ukonda. Such <laughs> مسولی رو گامختاری بود کالات بودتی. اسارت زالی نیشیاتی. آن یتیم ایت خازد. نه یکی مطرح او باس. نه. دارون نگویی. باس. چه مویی دس؟ نه یکی دس. نه. دارون. کاتا ایت نه یکی. ایت گو. گو گو. تو کو اخلاق رگونی باوشی. اخلاق ماس واسطه اولی دی رات کمان اوندا. مرا سخاست رو واسطه اولی دی. Ovo je tu sviđa ga ukan, da je rastac vastavljiv di i me ovo je da i gives. Da je šestove vze stavljiv da, a mi to mi ko tornikistan adrili bi še ova. Zatkma on da je pavšo bi da naj mosuli zdridan. Toko i ko ko je lazi urad gebijani. Come here. Lord, did you need to do this? Huh? Come here. Here. No, not on my lap, not in front of the... Come here. Oh, Lord. Okay. If you're gonna be good, it'll be fine.
Uh, honestly, I think I'm a totally different person off the court than I am on the court. I think off the court, I, I mostly just joke around all day, singing, laughing, making fun of people. Uh, that's basically who I am 93% of the day. That's just who I am. I kind of am a jokester for most of the uh, day. But I think in the games, I'm a little bit more calm. Uh, sometimes I'm a little bit too emotional. The work ethic is the reason I am where I am right now. This is something that it's, I would say, it's my talent. Work ethic is something that uh, I enjoy. I enjoy a lot and uh, I believe in this. For me, this is the way to do it. If you're not working hard, if you're not work extra than other people, you're just gonna be at the same level that anybody else. So if you wanna be better than someone, I believe that you gotta work harder than everybody in the room. Family for me is something very valuable. Uh, this is something that ch I cherish uh, ever since I was a kid. And uh, right now I have a, my own family. I have a beautiful wife, uh, three healthy kids, thanks to God. And this is something that uh, undescribable, undescribable with the words that how I feel and how blessed I feel to have this. Uh, I think a winning character is just somebody who keeps going forward. Every season, only one team wins. As long as you're just driving forward and still doing things that you need to be doing and taking care of business. I think to be the best player is kind of the same stuff I said with the winning mentality. Like, you just keep pushing forward, keep working on your game every day, watch a lot of film, uh, work on your craft, get a little lucky. I think uh, genetics and just uh, how you're built in life just kind of helps out with that stuff. And, uh, you know, have a little bit of... Uh, I don't want to cuss, but just like, uh, like I don't care in your system. Like you have to be able to take shots and not care if they miss or make, and take big shots and take responsibility on yourself. Uh, off the court, Michael's Mike. Uh, He's the life of the party off the court. Uh, he likes to talk. He likes to be heard. Uh, he has a sense of humor, and, and if you don't have tough skin, you might want to stay away from him uh, because he's definitely going to try to get into your skin, try to get under your skin to make you laugh and, like I said, talk about you a little bit. But that's just who Mike is, and I think everyone's learned to love him that way. Yeah, Mike is a, Mike is like an like an artist, you know, because of his talent and because of his uh, status as, as one of the best players in Europe, um, it's, not, it's not easy for him uh, to deal with this all the time. And we try to, to help him as, as, as much as possible to deal with this, with this pressure and to deal with this uh, emotional outbreaks he has. And we try to, to cover this. And, uh, but I think it's, it's something that makes him, makes him unique. Mike James, he's one of the best players in Euroleague right now. I think he's uh, in top three, maybe in top two in Euroleague. He has character, he has uh, quality, he has you know, big motivation to be the best Euroleague player. In January, everybody knows this, not easy time for uh, both sides, but we try to keep this uh, information inside, inside our locker room. For sure, he's not easy person. But uh, if somebody can show me, you know, great player or of, of great coach, you know, and in same in same time, you know, easy person, it's a little bit, you know, wrong. He is very smart, very serious. He bring to Moscow. Uh, part of big Georgian culture. I hope he will be happy in Moscow many, many years. Bye, guys. <laughs>
Um, I think when I'm not aggressive, I kind of uh, make bad decisions when I'm being passive or like when you can kind of tell what I'm going to do. But when I'm being aggressive, it's hard to tell if I'm going to score, shoot, pass, dribble. It's uh, more of a harder thing to figure out. So I think just me being aggressive, me always staying on attack uh, gives me an upper hand against people. Turnikestwis <laughs> For me, uh, religion, my country, and my family is the three important things in my life. This was my first ch church ever going uh, with my mother. Uh, and uh, I remember uh, pretty much almost every Sunday we would go there uh, and spend uh, uh, pretty much half of the day there and because religion is very very big part of uh, our tradition uh, and our history in Georgia. The chanting is that uh, ritual that we're doing uh, during the liturgy every Sunday uh, in the church even even for the people who are not religious uh, it, it can change their minds for sure. I believe uh, our country is, uh, is a unique country in uh, many, many directions. Um, I would say that our food is one of the delicious things that we have, and also that um, we have a huge history of winemaking. That's why we, we're also called as a wine country. Uh, I believe uh, it is, uh, Georgia is very interesting for tourists in, in any, any time of the year to come. Georgia national team is something very, very special for me personally, and I believe for, for Toko as well, because uh, we were like uh, one big family. You know, we couldn't wait to, to finish the season in our uh, clubs to come to see each other and to get along and uh, to spend time together, you know. This was the, the, the key of our national team success so from the beginning of our conversation with Toko, uh, the maybe the first question of Toko was uh, can i play for national team of georgia also from the beginning i told to Toko, you will have this possibility i promise you and uh, you know this season he left sk for uh, national team and uh, in uh, in the future situation will be the, the same the same because i promised him he gave me a call in uh, sometime June last year, maybe it was July, uh, saying that he got a call from CSK. The current uh, EuroLeague champions, 
basically an all-star of uh, Euroleague. Uh, and uh, that was the key moment in taking the decision, uh, which was the allowance of him to travel during the national team games. Believing in God is, uh, is a way of life for me. I have felt his uh, blessings uh, ever since I was a little kid. And uh, ever since then, uh, I feel that God is in my life every day. Uh, anything there is, uh, God is always there to help me. And uh, this is not just a wo empty words. I'm, I'm saying this because I feel this and uh, believing him is, uh, I would say, it's a way of, of my life. Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to uh, be MVP. It's always nice to make big shots. I think um, starting from MVP, I think it's, you know, it's just a testament how good we were playing at the time. Just with big shots, I think uh, I kind of shoot it with the, you know, if I make it, I make it. If I miss, I don't mentality. Where, and it's, it seems a little bit uh, simple, but I mean, I kind of don't uh, take it that big of responsibility. I kind of just, you know, shoot it like it's any other shot. And uh, I think it's helped me out for so far. Uh, I told, just told myself uh, my team needed me. I just tried to push through and uh, try to just break down a wall, and hopefully uh, it came out good. Sometimes it doesn't, but it did today. Next game on next Thursday against Real Madrid, what are you guys uh, needing to, you know, need in order to keep the rhythm up, keep the, keep the uh, faith up too? Uh, some rest and just, uh, just uh, getting back to basics. I think uh, every time we play defense and play as a team, we're pretty good. And, uh, you know, it'll be good to have one game this week and uh, see how it goes. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, I think Cheska is a pretty complete team. They have a little bit of everything. Probably uh, with the additions of um, Toko, Shangelia, and uh, Milutinov, of course, their inside game is much stronger. Uh, but still have the great uh, players outside, like James, Hackett, Hilliard. So they have a lot of weapons, and uh, we have to really try to stop all of them. Sergio Yui handing, handling the basketball. There's been a switch. Trey Tompkins, sidestep, pump fake, gets Mike James in the air repeatedly, and then calmly cans the three-pointer. He opened the scoring for Real Madrid and he may well have produced the final score. At this juncture, it's the most critical score because it has given them a one-point lead with less than a minute to play here at the Mega Sports Arena. Well, Mike James leads all scorers with 24. He has come up with big plays late in the game. That is definitely what is required for Seska Moscow now. The shot clock has been turned off. Seska Moscow trail by one. 
It is Abalde defending Mike James. Mike James keeping his dribble alive. He's gone for an early three. It's off the front rim. Ball still loose. Hackett comes down with it. Gives it to Clyburn. Mike James with the corner three. Oh, count the bucket. Mike James, incredible once again. Double teamed in the corner, but still somehow has come up with the falling, flailing, fading three-pointer. Mike James continues to make miracle plays in the Euro League. He made a lot of big shots. I remember uh, Kazan against Kazan in uh, Awaka, where he made the step back to the right uh, at the buzzer to beat him, I think. It's a side leading by two, seven seconds to go. Plenty of time if you execute. Mike James goes for the hero shot, the three. It's good, Mike James! You say you're gonna touch me. You say you're gonna rush me. And you, you think you're gonna pump me. James hustles, gets the ball. Now he goes. Checks the clock. Bertans and Kuzminska spot up one side, Mitz off the other. James has it knocked loose. Dives onto the ball by Mitzic at the buzzer. Mike James! Oh, Mike James! But check it, I'm a champion, stick and move all around the ring. Mike James, tough shot, oh my goodness! Mike James doing Mike James things. To be here today is a very strange feeling because uh, I would never imagine playing uh, against Basconia. Uh, uh, this is a very strange feeling, uh, be here as a visitor. The weather is still the same, the streets is still the same, everything is the same. But except one thing, I'm wearing the, another team's uh, uniform. Lo recibimos como en casa, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. ¿Eh? Con frío, ¿no? Frío, frío no de cojones. Frío no se ve. <risa> bueno, este no se va, en invierno no se va. ¿Y tú qué? Es nada, nada, como siempre, tío. ¿Cuándo, cuándo este sufriendo el Vasconia. <risa> Aprendiendo claro, cada año. Nos vemos esta vez. Sí. Venga, luego nos vemos. Presidente. Padrino, ¿cómo estás? Patrón, patrón. Qué chulo, ¿eh? No había visto, claro. No. Chulito, chulito. Sí, está bonito, sí. Pero es, es la misma. ¿Y ya ves no, 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 es nuevo todo. No, no. Hasta le vas a notar más blandito. Cuando me voy todo, arregláis todo, ¿eh? Look, Mike. It's cold, big. I don't know what y'all are doing here. <laughs> Christmas oh. for the yeah. Russians and Serbian. Serbians and Georgians. Georgians. Georgians, all the old calendar. All the Orthodox day. except Greek. What about Latvians? <laughs> the, yeah, the, the Orthodox that they're <laughs> celebrating with a new calendar. Anyhow, Merry Christmas, right? <laughs> very important for us to create a culture and an identity so this is what when I'm saying that it takes and it's a process of building a new uh, culture or is a process to build a new team 
they need to make a certain adjustments into the culture of CSKA and what means CSKA to the European continent and what means CSKA uh, for themselves. They have to make a certain adjustments. Uh, but when you come under the umbrella of what means and the, the principles you have and the culture you, you're trying to build and you have built already throughout these years, um, it's important to go under the same umbrella and the same ideas and uh, uh, to adopt the culture of the, the team. Now, is that going to be easy? It's not going to be easy and you're going to have always uh, failures. As soon as you can heal the, the wounds that can happen during the season, and as soon as you can put everybody under the same uh, umbrella and they can get rid of their ego, then you know, uh, you're on the same uh, base and you can start to uh, develop uh, other skills, which are more basketball skills. Tell you one story. I remember uh, my first day when I go to Vitoria. Uh, Vitoria play one uh, friendly game against one Italian team and lost uh, the game, but uh, 25 points. And Coach Perasovic come to tell me, "Hi, Youngs, you know, welcome to the team." And uh, you know, for me inside, I say, "Oh, come on, <laughs> 25 points lost against second team." Anyway, and uh, Coach Perasovic uh, tell me straight, "Youngs, listen." Uh, don't worry about the team because uh, three weeks, no day off. The players is uh, very tired, you know, it's normal. And uh, we will see with you, you play great. I don't know what coach Perasso would see in the future, if they see the future, but 100% uh, was clear inside. Bueno, nosotros fichamos a Mike James y a Toko Sengelia porque encajaban perfectamente en esa filosofía de, de jugadores jóvenes, eh, competitivos y que tenían ese carácter que, que la gente quiere ¿no? y habla un poco del carácter vasconia ¿no? y, y bueno pues nos da un, una velocidad y una, una verticalidad y puntos que, que, que el equipo lo hace peligroso que unido esto a, pues a, a Borussis que era un jugador experto y más lento pero él controlaba un poco esta, digamos de Mike James, ¿no? este, esta velocidad, ese, ese ansia ¿no? y, bueno, Era bonito vernos jugar. That was definitely a special team. It was special to be a part of it, and uh, I still keep in touch with a lot of those guys, which still shows how uh, close we are. I'm a big believer in chemistry, so I believe that we have a uh, we had a group group of people that was great people, uh, hard workers, fighters, and uh, hungry people. So I believe that this is the ingredients for success. I would never forget this game. Uh, this was amazing because it was a full gym. There was no seats available. There was like 15,000 people in, in uh, Buesa Arena. So uh, it was something amazing. Atmosphere it was, it was off the charts. Look at all the people here tonight. What a game this is going to be. I was sitting uh, under the basket, so I was watching the game from outside. And the whole game it was back and forth, back and forth between us and Real Madrid. Mike James in transition, pulls up for the three and makes it Mike James. I played really well in that game. Uh, got hot. That was probably one of the first times I really felt like I played super well in a game. Here goes Mike James again, step back three. He makes it. He is on fire tonight. Mike James. Look at that smile. He's enjoying himself, and so are they. Sergio Rodriguez from the foul line makes it a two-point game. Real Madrid ahead, 4.7 seconds left. This game will have uh, all two, three points behind the score, and when you have one timeout, everybody say, OK, if you lose, lose. It's nothing special game, you know. Which goes to show you, I think I hit like five or six threes in that game and we drew up the last play for Bertans. Vasconia need a two-pointer for a tie, a three to win it. Go for three, it's Bertans and he makes it. 
Still a couple of seconds for Real Madrid. Shot comes up. And it's no good, and Basconia have the win. What a game. Davis Bertans with the three-pointer to give Basconia home court advantage in the playoffs. Spectacular game. One of the best we've seen in the Turkish Airlines Euroleague for a very long time. If you look at it, I don't even still realize how, how he was able to like turn his body and still shoot it and get it off and it go all net. That game was really fun. I still, I still remember most of it. This was something amazing and I will never forget this game. Final four. I was trying to force it, my rehabilitation, to be ready for the final four. But in the end, it didn't happen. But at least I was there to experience uh, the final four glory. I remember the game was also for me was an amazing game. I prepared myself to play uh, this game because uh, for me also it's a big chance, you know, uh, to go to the final. The game is Lamar for next. They lob into Barusis, turnaround jumper by him on the mark by Giannis Barusis. Barusis comes up with a rebound. Lob to Mike James from Darius Adams. What a look! And he just flew to the rim. 33 seconds left, there's a 10 point difference. Slukas ties it up 72 72 with 25.7 seconds left. There's not enough time to assure from there about to have another possession. Gotta get the ball and bounce first, they do to Adams. Normally, this uh, kind of shot, uh, you know, for many players, it's the more easy shot. Uh, the time finish. So, okay, you try to make one shot, and if you score, you are a superhero. If not, nobody said anything. Six, makes his move, steps back, three pointer, Darius Adams in and out. Mike James tries to chip it. I think uh, the whole game we were winning, we had control of the game, and we kind of let one slip past our hands. I, I still kind of get got bad memories about that game, but I mean, uh, yeah, that's basically what I remember about that. Just a lot of sour taste in my mouth. You have the chance to win before the overtime, but this is the details from uh, basketball things. Also, you need to have a little bit lucky, you know, to win the, this kind of game when they go close. But I'm so happy because uh, these guys uh, from the year play together, 2015 and 16, they grow so good up, you know, like uh, play the big teams. And uh, it's not only for one year, so they continue to work, and that's why they play in the big teams. Bueno, Toco siempre añoraba ganar un título, ¿no? Y ganar una liga. Estaba realmente obsesionado. Estos jugadores top, pues lógicamente, ansían los títulos, y es lógico. Yo creo que era algo que le faltaba en su currículum, ¿no? con, con ese club. Es un premio para él, ¿no? Eh, la verdad que me marcó muchísimo mi vida, sobre todo por todo lo que habíamos luchado durante la temporada, por las lesiones que estuvimos, por... ya llevábamos varios, varios años juntos y la verdad que me alegró el poder compartirlo con ellos. Final game against Barcelona of last year's ACB title. We arrived at the last moment. We have like more than 10 seconds left and the play was that I was going to get the ball, wait a little bit and play one on one and try to score. Uh, I start to drive on my right side and Oriola helped. So they tried to trap me. So I kicked the ball out to Aguila and I hear this scream uh, from behind, behind me that was like, uh, I can't describe this, this screaming. buzzer it's an amazing feeling basically the whole the six years that I've been uh, in Basconia went through in my mind in my eyes in the splits of the seconds and all the obstacles all the injuries all the losing games that I've been through uh, running to my mind and then 
I said to myself that, okay, now it's all made sense, that everything was worth it for this moment. And this is something that I will cherish the rest of my life. Después de Vasconia, pues la trayectoria de My James y, y de Toco, pues la verdad es que no, no me sorprende, no me sorprende en absoluto, porque lógicamente al ser unos muy competitivos, están dispuestos a ceder parte de su baloncesto para que el equipo pueda ganar, porque claro, individualmente en otros equipos serían tremendos, ¿no? Y, y ese, ese es el punto que de madurez que ellos tienen ahora y que les hace muy peligrosos, porque... porque porque lógicamente están dispuestos a, a, a cualquier cosa para ganar, ¿no? a hacer parte de su, de su baloncesto, que el club evidentemente lo va a agradecer y el entrado, por supuesto. This is going to be a very important uh, game for us and for them. Uh, watching the standing is uh, everything open. Both teams need uh, desperately the, uh, the win. We know the difficulties though to play on, on the road against Real Madrid. We played many times. Uh, in 2019, it was a turning point for us. But you know, the tradition is not playing basketball again. The, the culture is playing basketball. The perception, or, or the, the dedication you have, how much of being motivated and concentrated to the game, to the purpose, to the main purpose. Real Madrid, Cheska, Moscow, matchup that means so much for both of these teams. And let's start with these boys right here walking in earlier. Or should I say limping in because things have been rough since the 12-game win streak that ended back in round 18. Since that point, that was January 7th. Toko Sengali, who's just, he's so Basconia when you look at him. You've always just put in together with that Bascona uniform, but he fits perfectly into this Cheska Moscow uniform. And I think he's going to be there for a long time to come because he's just one of those players that Etudis loves, that the club loves, and he's one of those hard workers that is a utility player, does everything offensively, defensively, on the court, off the court. Toko Sengali is one of the best EuroLeague players that we'll ever see. Cosaire is probably going to be the guy to guard Mike James. The two of them know each other very well from Basconia. And we saw a bunch of those players before the game started talking to each other. They've all played in Basconia already now. They've gone their separate ways. And they meet here tonight, March 18th, at a huge game with only four more games after this left in the EuroLeague season. Tavares on Singalia, less of a three-point threat as we see right there, but he makes that one. That hurts Madrid in the long run. Oh, the thin up top, looking for an opening. Kicks it out, oh, that's a turnover. It's gonna be Singalia two on one. He can't find James on the corner, but instead he takes it by himself. Hack it to Singalia. Mike James wants to get himself going, and he does exactly that. Sangali one more time from three, and that is going to hurt Real Madrid right there because Tavares can't do anything. Sangali being defended by Tavares. Tavares steps out again against Mike James. Sangali one more time, and he hits another one. Toko is going to drive Madrid crazy. James going to his left, pulling up his right. Mike James knocking down the three. Pablo Lasso needs a timeout because Cheska Moscow is on fire. Cheska has dominated this game offensively. They're going to let James take it, try to finish off a game in another way. He did it once in Moscow. Can he do it again with the turnaround? But he kicks out the Whiteman. Whiteman! from the corner, and Cheska will take the victory back to Moscow. Here with Coach Itudis, and Coach, uh, 2021 hasn't been the kindest of years to you so far, but is this the best you guys have played in this calendar year? Well, I hope that's a turning point because we're, we're really working hard, and uh, we've been composed and we've been uh, determined. Uh, the outcomes, uh, 
was not always in our hands. It didn't go our way, let's say. But uh, I think today we were very focused and very determined from the beginning. Uh, congratulations to my team. That, that's, I hope, is the turning point, and this is what we believe so far. You're back in Russia for the entire rest of the regular season in the Euro League. How big is that for you in climbing the standings and trying to get up there for home court advantage, but also that number one seed? Well, listen, in, in Russia, we haven't won until uh, b before, I don't know, President says to me, I, I forgot, from January. So we got to win some game in Russia, too. All right? All right, Coach, thanks a lot. Thanks. Congrats on the win. Turkish Airlines EuroLeague welcomes you to the playoffs. Tonight we're in Moscow. Only one will make the journey to Cologne. Seska come into the playoffs as the hardest team in the regular season, winning their last six games. Well, this is playoffs. I'm expecting uh, my team to be focused, determined, motivated, concentrated for the for the time. No Joel Bolomboy, no Milutinov. No Mike James. Well, in a, in a, we enter the playoffs in a game one with uh, several problems, but we enter also the playoffs with a huge determination and, a, and, a, and, a, and an amazing belief of my players and the team. And Shangalia swoops for his opening score of the game. And Danny was amazing in that, uh, in that game, but uh, the whole team uh, supported him, so pretty much this is how we won the first game. Final score, Seska Moscow 92, Fenerbahce Beko Istanbul 76. In the game two, we pretty much, I, I can say, we watched the same, the same story only with the different characters and the different protagonists. So now Guduric took over the backet from, uh, from Nando and he was uh, amazing scoring from all the possessions. Uh, so we have pretty much, we had to deal with him. But um, we had an ex extremely great effort from Toko, from uh, Ife and uh, you know, the whole team uh, helped in order to establish uh, a 2-0 uh, on the first two games. Victory for Seska. They march on. 2-0 is the lead in the best of five. We went to the game three with a um, huge determination, but at the same time uh, with the knowledge of uh, how Fenner was trying to respond. Uh, we showed a huge character, um, great defense, um, a team spirit, and we wanted to finish it there. And uh, it was proven. Uh, that we play with, with both knives on the, on, on the mouth, as we, we used to say. And uh, we qualified against a great opponent, a great, a great uh, club and a great organization uh, with 3-0. And we, we, we were all happy to go in, a, in another Final Four. I'm very proud for this organization. For people that they go first time in the final four, we're just talking now with Koyla, six of you, big accomplishment. We gotta do a little bit more about talking about how it's to be in the final four. But believe me, I'm gonna go learn also over there. With you guys, I'm gonna learn, still I'm learning over there. So great job, great job. Congratulations to each and everyone. And a very warm welcome to Cologne in Western Germany, where you join us at the magnificent Lanses Arena, the venue for the 2021 Turkish Airlines EuroLeague Final Four. 
you know, knowing all the circumstances, the injuries we had, the problems we had, the, the COVID uh, situation we had, uh, we managed to go in another Final Four. Uh, obviously, each and every team who reaches the Final Four, uh, the main goal is to, to go to the Champions game. This year, we didn't manage to go to the Champions game, but uh, still, the journey was very successful for us. And um, I think that uh, overall, that was a successful season uh, for Toko. Uh, uh, he won another championship, uh, was coming from Basconia, winning the, the Spanish league, and now uh, lead our team to another VTB title in Russian uh, championship. Uh, and uh, gather a lot of knowledge and a, a lot of experience from the Final Four. I'm expecting and I'm sure that Toko is, uh, um, has a lot of left in his tank and he's going to come back uh, after the summer even more thrilled, more motivated to make it happen. Season 2021 was very tough, a lot of ups and downs. Many challenges, a lot of injuries, um, but I, uh, this summer I will continue to work hard as I always have to come back stronger next season. Yo, man, look at me, man. I got all the jewels. Look at my shoes, man. I wish Mike James all the best wherever he is or he will be. Our path have crossed in the past many times, and who knows if in the future it's gonna happen again. I'm in love with a girl that I call old school. Sipping Six point for the next. Got James. The in my got a three. Mike like James, how do you do? And even if the day changes, it's all the same. You rolling up the block, but you in the wrong lane. You hating on a brother, man. You must be insane. I look good. I look good. I look good. I look exactly the way you wish you could. I look good. I look good. Joe said that I'm the best in the West. I got the girl singing. Damn, look at how he dressed. No need to guess, just bless my finesse. I keep him in a mess, all up in this caress. Jeans, fit it, shirt, knit it. Man, she need to quit it. She already did it. She gotta be Latina, cause she look mixed with it. She all up on me, so I guess she gonna get it.